Now, in the previous part of the question, we had to show that the sum of r times r plus 1 times r plus 5 was equal to a quarter n, n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 7. And in this particular part, we're asked hence, so obviously this means that it relies on what we just found out here, or otherwise, to find the value of the sum for r going from 20 to 50 of r times r plus 1 times r plus 5. So to do something like this, it's fairly straightforward. All we've got to do is just copy out uh, the question here. We're trying to sum from r going from 20 to 50 of r multiplied by r plus 1 times r plus 5. Now we can see that we've got this result up here. So it's fairly similar. Difference is though this one starts from r equals 1. We're starting from r equals 20. So to get around this problem this is exactly the same as summing from r going from 1 to 50 okay, of r multiplied by r plus 1 multiplied by r plus 5, as long as we subtract the sum of r going from 1, not up to 20, but up to the term before 20, so in other words, up to 19 of r multiplied by r plus 1, multiplied by r plus 5. This is a common technique that we use when we're trying to do a sum that doesn't start from 1. OK, well, we've got the results for these. In the first one here, n is 50. And in the second one here, n is 19. So what have we got? Well, for the first one, we're taking n to be 50. And all we've got to do is just substitute it into here. So it's going to be a quarter multiplied by n, which is 50, multiplied by n plus 1, so that's 51, then by n plus 2, so that's going to be 52, and then finally n plus 7, so that's going to be 57. And from this we subtract this summation, which is the result that we get when n is 19. So we're just going to substitute 19 for n in here. And so it's going to be minus a quarter, multiplied by n, which is 19, then n plus 1, so that's 20, n plus 2, so that's 21, and then n plus 7, so that's 26. Work this out, and you will find you will get 1837680. 1,837,680. Okay.